three. Tally Cat, she is a lot like you. She's wondering about what math can do. Come on along. Come on along. Come on along. Tally's going on the math path, swinging into action. Come on along. Tally's going on the math path, patterns and subtraction. Come on along. Tally's going on the math path, fractions and addition. Come on along. Tally's going on the math path, to meet the math magician. Come on along. Come on along. Hey, aren't you going to chase me? Nah, I'm too busy counting. Aw, but what fun is that? What fun is that? Let me tell you all of the things that numbers can do. Who are you? I'm Pop the Math Explorer, and I'll lead you on a journey to discover number powers in a math world full of learning. You'll learn fractions, measurement, multiplication and addition you will journey through 10 math lands and you'll meet the math magician wow let's go i want to find the math magician how do we get there here's your map now follow me <gasps> and click on me whenever you want to see your journey options all right let's go <laughs> I'll come too. I can help. We'll start on the math journey spiral and explore while we click, look, and listen. As we follow the path, we'll use more and more math and discover the math magician. Click on the flashing star to continue your journey. We're off to the land of patchwork patterns. <laughs> Why? It's a colonial community. Quite quaint, really. And quiet, too. Something tells me that's about to change. Click on the help balloons and I'll read them out loud. Want to hear a story? Click on this pop spot to read a math tale. Can you help this quilting bee to cut her cards in two? She's having a party for Clara Quail, whose baby chicks are due. To turn the page and hear my story, click on the page turn arrow. To turn the page and hear my story, click on the page turn arrow. Click on two hives to draw a line across each invitation. Your line should make two matching halves, a symmetrical creation. Sarah's spider has eight legs and two wide open eyes. Draw a line diagonally and create two matching sides. Mm -hmm. 
This card is for someone who knows her shapes quite well. We'll want her at the party. Who is it? Can you tell? Make sure that both sides of the picture are exactly the same. The party day is finally here. Our bee is so excited. All the friends she sees down the road are the ones she had invited. Welcome to the quilting bee. This is the line of symmetry. It divides the pattern into two equal parts. Pick a fabric shape and drag it to the gray part of the quilt design. Place it so it matches with the other side. Press the space bar if you need to turn the shape. Triangle. Right, ribbit. Press the space bar if you need to turn. Right, ribbit. <laughs> Triangle. Triangle. Right, ribbit. Triangle. The design is symmetrical. The baby quails with the blankets show how many quilts you've completed. Complete five quilt designs to collect an activity star. Click on your baby quail with the blanket to make your next quilt design. Triangle. Trapezoid. Right, ribbit. Trapezoid. Triangle. Sorry. Triangle. Yippee! Right, ribbit. Right, ribbit. Right, ribbit. Right, ribbit. The design is symmetrical. It's pretty. Nice work. <coughs> Square. Square. <coughs> Red. 
rectangle. Yippee! Sorry. <laughs> rectangle. Right. Rip. Try again. Right. Ribbit. Triangle. Right. Rip. Right. Rip. Rectangle. Right. Ribbit. The design is symmetrical. <laughs> it's pretty. Nice work. Triangle. Trapezoid. Right. Triangle. Triangle. Right. Rib. Yippee! Right. Yippee! Right. The design is symmetrical. <laughs> Rectangle. Right. Rectangle. Right. Ribbit. Triangle. Yippee! Square. Yippee! Triangle. Yippee! Parallelogram. Yippee! Right. Parallelogram. Right. <laughs> Yippee! Yippee! Right. The design is symmetrical. <laughs> Hooray! Trapezoid. Yippee! Click on exit if you need a rest, or keep clicking on the baby quails to choose your own quilt design.
by even imagining all that we see and hear. Yowie! That math souvenir may help us find the math magician. A sugar cane field? Will we find a math magician here? Well, poke around a bit and see what you find. Okay, but I sure hope it all adds up to something. It will, if you take something away with you when you go. Mr. Less and Mr. Moore work in the sugar cane store. Simone, the sugar cane farmer, must carry his canes down the road. To carry his stack, he needs ten canes exact. Help him prepare the right load. To turn the page and hear my story, click on the arrow. Each day he starts with a bundle of sugar cane stacked on his tray. He only goes when he's loaded with ten. Help him to cart it away. Help me carry ten sugar canes down the road. To add canes to my stack, Click on the bundle of canes I need, then bring it over to my tray. To subtract canes from my stack, you can click on the bundles on my tray and carry them to the field. <sniffs> Correcto! Good job! Sometimes his load is too heavy, and sometimes his load is too light. He needs ten to progress, no more and no less. So make sure his number is right. Good job! Carefully carrying sugar canes takes all of the skill that he's got. The trick is to ship just ten with each trip before he begins his next trot. Oof! Oof! Muchas gracias. Thank you. Now that the canes are delivered, he has a new standard to meet. Because he's always itching to trot to the kitchen, where there's sweet food left over to eat. <laughs> Welcome to Simone's Sugar Cane Bakery. Let's help Simone and his pastry assistants, Mr. Less and Mr. Moore, make some desserts. Ah, buenos dias, my friends. First, we'll need to change these sugar canes into cups of sugar. This sugar cruncher needs 10 sugar canes at a time to make cups of sugar. Find 6. 
four. How sweet it is! Let's make the sugar. Keep going. We need more sugar. Nine. Eight. This sugar cruncher needs less. Try again. Nine. One. Keep going. We need more sugar. Five. Five. Good job. Eight. Two. Whoa! Massive amounts of sugar. Let's see what's on the dessert menu. Let's clear out the bottom rack by making desserts. This rack holds 10 cups of sugar. Which dessert should we make? Click on a dessert to find out what it is. Click it again to help Simone to make it. You can make a dessert as many times as you want if you have enough sugar. To make fried ice cream, we'll need 8 cups of sugar. To make banana chips, We'll need two cups of sugar. I'm Simone. I'm making dessert. This rack holds ten cups of sugar. Here goes. We have two. Look. Here comes Mr. Moore to help Simone. Looks like you'll be needing more of these. Whoops! Time to make more sugar. Good job. Ah, the sweet smell of success. Let's play again. The chef's hats show how many sugar cane shelves you've cleared out. Clean out five shelves and five sugar crunchers to collect an activity star. Click on your chef's hat to begin a new game. We can take two bundles of sugar canes from the shelves and place them in the nine. Three. How sweet it is! Let's make the sugar. Keep going. Six. Six. Keep going. Eight. Four. Good. Seven. Seven. Five. Whoa! Massive amounts of sugar. Let's see what's on the dessert menu. Let's clear out the bottom rack by making desserts. To make coconut cream, we'll need six cups of sugar. This is the menu. Oh boy! More desserts! We have... comes Mr. Les to help Simone. These won't last long. <coughs> Whoops! Time to make more sugar. Good job. Muy bien. Play again. Click. We can take two bundles of sugar canes from the shelf. Ten. Three. Pretty soon, we'll need some more canes. Keep seven, eight. This sugar cruncher needs less. Try again. Seven, six. Good job. Eight, eight, four, five.
keep nine. Four. Look at all this sugar. Let's see what's on the dessert menu. Let's clear out the bottom rack by making desserts. To make coconut cream, we'll need six cups of sugar. Cool! Less sugar! We have... To make fried dough, we'll need five cups of sugar. We have... To make banana chips, we'll need two cups of sugar. Here comes Mr. Moore to help Simone. Give, give, give. That's all I ever do. Here, have some more. Whoops. Time to make more sugar. Good job. Kane, you believe it? <laughs> You're doing great. Click on. We can take two bundles of sugar canes from the nine. Six. How sweet it is. Let's make the sugar. Key ten. Ten. Five. Keep eight. Seven. Whoa! Massive amounts of sugar. Let's see what's on the dessert menu. Let's clear out the bottom rack by making desserts. To make fried ice cream, we'll need eight cups of sugar. Here we go. <laughs> to make coconut cream, we'll need six cups of sugar. We have to make hot chocolate, we'll need one cup of sugar. Look! Here comes Mr. Les to help Simone. Take, take, take. That's my motto. All right, I'm loading this out. Whoops! Time to make more sugar. Good job. Mmm. I've got a sweet tooth. One more time. Click on your chef's hat to begin a new game. We can take two bundles of sugar canes from 10, 8. Pretty soon, we'll need some more canes. Good job! Nine. Nine. Check out all this asukar we've got! Let's see what's on the dessert menu. Let's clear out the bottom rack by making desserts. To make a milkshake, we'll need nine cups of sugar. Here goes! We Look! Here comes Mr. Moore to help Simone! Looks like you'll be needing more of these! Whoops! Time to make more sugar! Good job! You make me smile. Click on... Terrific! That math souvenir may help us find the math magician. Ah, sweet success!
I've got all of these great desserts. Oh, pastries for me? You'll have lace now. Hey, come back with those. Don't you be stealing those things. It took me many hours to bake those things, so please. Ah, sweet. Oh, pastries for me? Welcome to the Measurement Mountain House. There's a beaver over there. Is he the math magician? Nah, the beaver that lives there is Mac. He's a lumberjack. Well, his house on the river doesn't seem to be measuring up to his expectations. Brrr. This house of sticks will freeze me, but the house of logs might please me. I put my best foot forward, I move inch by inch. I'd walk a million miles, it would be a cinch. I'm in my own backyard, measuring up my landscape. I'm a bad tailed beaver with a measuring tape. So they call me Measuring Max, and I'm here to say that you can measure anything in any kind of way. You can measure with a shovel, with a boot, or with a chain. You can measure at your leisure if your units keep the same. You can measure at your leisure if your units keep the same. They call me Measuring Mac. I measure everywhere I roam, and I can parler vous on the microphone. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Measuring Mac the Lumberjack measures wherever he roams, but his life on the river is making him shiver. He must build himself a warm home. To turn the page and hear my story, click on the arrow. Mac always takes just what he needs, or else he takes nothing at all. To build his log cabin, Mac should be grabbing a tree that's two shovels tall. Grab the shovels and move them next to the trees. Now that you've measured from bottom to top, click on the tree and watch as I chop. That is it. This one's for you. You did it. Turn the page. As you can see, Mac was quite pleased by your quick thinking reply. Now see if you can help him out of this jam. Find him a tree three boots high. No, that uh -huh. you... you now Mac needs a tree that's five boots tall. He'll chop that one with pleasure. He wants to protect trees, so he'll only select trees that match with the length that you measure. Now that you've measured from bottom to top, click on the tree and watch as I chop. Just right. Let's take it away. You did it. Turn the page. Now Mac has all the wood he needs, but he's in quite a fix. He's never built a home from logs. He's used to using sticks. Let's help Mac build a log cabin. We can use the log cutting machine. Click on the green arrow to push the log out. It can't go any further. Click on the yellow arrow to pull the log in. Use the shovels to figure out how long the log should be. This is Sawduster, our recycle bin. To recycle a log, 
Click on the log, then feed it to Sawduster. Use the shovels to figure out how long the log should be. You shouldn't put any logs in there. That's where the door goes. Excuse me. Before... Hey, it's a little drafty in here. Can you cut some more logs to fill in the holes? We shouldn't put any... Are you ready to cut that log? Trashik. But now, I'd like to remodel. The houses show... How many cabins you've built? Build five log cabins to earn your star. Click on the next house to build another. We shouldn't put any log. Hey, it's a little drafty in here. Can you cut some more logs to fill in the holes? It can't. 
can't. Great job! Let's do it another way. Click on the next house. Shouldn't put any lo Hey, it's a little drafty in here. Can you cut some more logs to fill in the holes? <coughs> Trashic. But now, I'd like to remodel. Click on the next. We shouldn't put any logs in there. We shouldn't put any lo-
Hey, it's a little drafty in here. Can you cut some more logs to fill in the holes? Chic. But now, I'd like to remodel. Click on the next house to... You shouldn't put any logs in there. We shouldn't put any logs in there. Hey, it's a little drafty in here. Can you cut some more logs to fill in the holes? <coughs> I love my new warm toasty house. Merci. You're the brightest! Yowie! That math souvenir may help us find the math magician. Thanks, merci! You've been a great help! Now, I'll use these sticks to keep my new house warm. Smell something cooking. I wonder what's cooking with those cats. Well, only a tale will tell. Let's check out their story.
I'm so hungry. Me, 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 too. It's late at night and in the street, we cats are on the prowl. Scratching, sniffing, and exploring everything we see. When suddenly we stop, because we hear a great big growl. Is it a dog? No, it's my stomach. I'm hungry. All at once we all let out a cry. Meow, 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 meow. For our favorite food, pizza pie. Cause we love a pepperoni, mozzarella, ham, and provolone. No ricotta, what's a matter? Hey, I want bologna. Peppers, anchovies, salami. And we're still in the We cover everything with lots of parmesan. La 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 la, la 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 la, lots of parmesan. Hey! Suddenly we realize we're headed for big trouble. Cause each of us would like to eat up all the pizza pie. We need to find a way to solve this problem on the double. Or there will be a cat fight. And the fur. She's gonna fly. If we don't make it fair. I'm gonna lose some hair. It's a time for action. Time to make a fraction. Because the number on the top will tell how many that we want. The number on the bottom tells how many we have it all. A fraction gives us what we need to know and that is why. Fractions help us pick a perfect piece of pizza pie. La 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 la, la 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 la, piece of pizza pie. Hey! Here are Francesca and Frederico Cat looking for pizza pie. There's no food here. To help us find pizza, click on the page arrow. First, they find a juicy slice of melon and decide to share it. Feed us equal shares of melon. Two halves, two over two. Make sure we each get a piece of prosciutto. One. Zero parts. It's all gone. Yummy! You did it! Ciao! Fabio joins the two cats on their pie search. Look! A tart with six strawberries! He declares with delight. Feed us equal shares of the tart! Make sure everyone gets the same number of strawberries! Three thirds. Three. Over three. Zero parts. It's all gone. Grazie. You did it. Ciao. Felicia is on her way to the pizza parlor when she runs into her hungry friends. Want to come along? She asks. Sure, they cry out. But first, let's share this piece of lasagna, says Francesca. Feed us equal shares of lasagna. Well, we each get the three olives. Four fourths, four over four. Zero parts. It's all gone. Grazie. Good job. Ciao. So, with Felicia leading the way, the cats are finally off to find what they were looking for. All along, pizza. It's my pizza pie. Questo bella per me pari solo a quantal. Buongiorno. Welcome to this fine pizzeria. Use these pizza cutters to cut the pizza. And then give an equal amount of pizza to each cat. Buon appetito! Meow, 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 meow! Thanks! 
Thanks. 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 I'm so full. The pizza pieces show how many times you've fed the cat. Collect five pizza pieces to earn a star. Click on the pizza piece to feed the cats again. Thanks. 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 I can't. I can't believe I ate the whole thing. Click on the pizza piece to feed the cats again. Thanks. 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 I can't. I can't believe I ate the whole thing. Click on the pizza piece to feed the cats again. I would Thanks. 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 <coughs> Click on the pizza piece to feed the cats again. Place a pizza slice. Thanks. 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 I'm so full. Beautiful work. Click on exit if you. There's our souvenir! That math souvenir may help us find the math magician. I can't believe I ate the whole thing. Me, 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 neither. I'm sure I'll find the math magician here. Well, you'd better look before you leap, frog. <laughs>
A gardening frog named Florina was also a fine ballerina. She danced with great ease, throwing seeds to the breeze, creating a floral arena. To help me plant the flowers, click on the arrow and turn the page. Florina has flowers to plant with a cool mathematical slant. She'll plant four at a time into three even lines. See if she can or she can't. Click on the flowers, then drag them to the planter box. <coughs> That's it! Turn the page! Now that her garden is growing, her talents can really start showing. In groupings of three, how nice it will be. Come on, please help her get going. That's it! Turn the page! This long flower bed must have room for 12 flower blossoms to bloom. Planting six in each row, you can watch them all grow as they give off their fragrant perfume. That's it! Turn the page! Now that the planting is through, we'll divide up the flowers in two. For helping Florina, we'll split them between you and give six of these flowers to you. Welcome to today's show, starring Florina! Which bugs do you want for this dance number? When the total number of bug legs on stage equals a number on a chair, click on the chair. To start, click on the bug you want and drag it onto the stage. Click on any bug you want to start with, then drag it onto the stage. Do it again and again and watch your equations change. <laughs> Fill up all seats in the audience to start the show. <laughs> There's a big crowd tonight. Break a frog's leg. That was perfect. Now it's showtime. <laughs> The flowers show how many dances Florina has performed. Collect five bouquets and earn your star. Click on the chairs for a musical surprise. Or click on your bouquet to begin a new show.
Great. There's a big crowd tonight. Break a frog's leg. And now, for a riveting performance, Florina the Prima Ballerina. <laughs> on the chairs for a musical surprise or click on your bouquet to begin a new show. There's a big crowd tonight. Break a frog's leg. And now, for our star attraction, Florina's Frog Finger Dance. <laughs> on the chairs for a musical surprise or click on your bouquet to begin a new show.
20. There's a big crowd tonight. Break a frog's leg. Florina, you're on. <laughs> on the chairs for a musical surprise or click on your bouquet to begin a new show. There's a big crowd tonight. Break a frog's leg. It's a full house tonight. You can croak, but don't choke. <laughs> Click on exit if you need a rest, or keep clicking on the bouquets to choose your own dance. Terrific! That math souvenir may help us find the math magician.
cold here. Hey, look over there. Is that Walrus the Math Magician? Hmm, he seems to be on top of the world. But I think he's about to encounter a problem of geometric proportions. Click on the help balloons and I'll read them out loud. last attack damaged our snow fort. Can you use these snow blocks to fill the hole? Give it a try. Click on a shape and move it to the hole in the igloo. Press on the space bar if you need to turn the shape. Thanks a whole lot. Click on the next small igloo to patch another hole. Collect five small igloos to earn a star. Thanks a whole lot. You'd make a radical snow ranger. Thanks a whole lot. You'd make a radical snow ranger. I'm so happy for you. Click on exit if you need a rest, or keep clicking on the small igloos to choose your own puzzle. It's been a whole lot of fun. Fort Snow is under attack. I need your help. Click on the snow shape to throw a snowball. Knock all three snow bullies down to earn a star. Click on a shape that will not roll. Which shape has more than three sides? Which shape has only three sides? Which shape has less than four sides?
Which shape has more than three corners? Which shape has less than four corners? Click on a shape with four corners. Click on a hexagon. Find a shape with sides that are not all the same length. Click on a triangle. Find a shape with two more sides than a square. Click on a shape with six sides. Which shape can you make with two triangles? Find a shape that is round. Find a shape with more sides than a triangle. You got 15 correct out of 15 tries. Terrific! That math souvenir may help us find the math magician. Everything's safe here now. Go on, go find the math magician. It's the Edition Olympics! Can I compete? Go on! Race for first place! Plus a whole lot more! Let the games begin! These cows are getting ready to begin their balloon race across the Alps. But they can't begin the race until the right number of cows are in the air. To get the race going, we need a total of 72 cows in the sky. Now let's see. Each helium balloon carries one cow. Each hot air balloon carries 10 cows. We can use the thumbtack to sink any balloon and bring it down to the ground. We can use the wand to change one hot air balloon into 10 single cows holding helium balloons. All right, you made it safe to fly. We did it. Now the race can begin. And they're off. The hot air balloons show you how many races you've started. Help start five races to collect an activity star. Click on your hot air balloon to begin a new game. I knew you could do it. We did it. Now the race can begin. And they're off. 
click on your hot air balloon to begin a new game. This is the thumbtack. Use it to pop balloons and sink them. <coughs> All right, you made it safe to fly. <coughs> we did it. Now the race can begin. And they're off. Click on your hot air balloon to begin a new game. You are utterly fabulous. Good job. We did it. Now the race can begin. And they're off. Click on your hot air balloon to begin a new game. I knew you could do it. <laughs> we did it. Now the race can begin. And they're off. Stellar job. Click on exit if you need a rest. Or keep clicking on the little hot air balloons to select your own race. team needs our help. They're stranded on that mountain. Let's help all ten skiers get down the mountain before the snowball squashes them into Swiss cheese. Skiers must ski over the rocks that are equal to the number on the red starting gate flag. Click on the correct rocks to guide each skier down the hill. <laughs> Look out! Nice move! Great going! Nice move! Here I come! Good for you! Nice move! Way to go! Oh, beautiful!
full work! You got 10 correct out of 10 tries. Yowie! That math souvenir may help us find the math magician. <gasps> Ski you later! Out that store. Wait for the train. Ah, the most successful trading store in the East, by most measures. <laughs> Owned and run by Mira Big Era. And she's about to encounter a sizable problem. Oh, dear me. I'm so discombobulated. So many trades to make before our family trip. Oh, hello there. May I help you? Are you ready to trade? For this round, we're measuring weights in kilograms. And everything is worth its weight in gold. When the two scale pans hold the same weight, we have a trade. Click on any item you want and drag it onto the empty scale pan. Elephant statue. <coughs> Elephant. That's a fair trade. Nice work. Make three fair trades to earn a ticket. <coughs> Elephant. I can see that it's even. Let's trade. <coughs> Elephant statue. <coughs> You can put more items on the scale pan than that. Bowling ball. Pumpkin. Plant. Yes, the scales are balanced. Bag it, please. Good job. It'll be smooth scaling from here on in. The tickets show how many trades you've made. Collect five train tickets to earn your star. Click on the ticket to help the next customer. Let's help Mira Bigira make a fair trade. Are you ready to trade? For this round, we're measuring weights in pounds. And everything is worth its weight in silver. Carpet. Hmm. You can put more items on the scale pan than that. Candelabra. Vase. Vase. Pottery. Teapot. Fifty pounds. Vase. Vase. Yes, the scales are balanced. Bag it, please. Candelabra. Hmm. You can put more items on the scale. Fruit. Spice grinder. Pitcher. That's a fair trade. Carpet. Hmm. You can put more items on the scale pan than that. Sewing machine. Jewel. Jewel. Pound cake. I can see straight. What a good deal. Nice balancing act. <laughs> Click 
on the ticket to help the next customer. Let's help Mira Bigira make a fair trade. Are you ready to trade? For this round, we're measuring weights in ounces, and everything is worth its weight in copper. Necklace. Hmm, necklace. Cumin. Peanut butter. Spices. That's a fair trade. Vase. Hmm, rice. Tea. I can see straight. What a good deal. Teapot. Hmm. You can put more items on the stool. Peanut butter. Spices. Yes, the scales are balanced. Bag it, please. Way to go! You've earned a ticket. <laughs> Click on the ticket to help the next customer. Let's help Mira Bigira make a fair trade. Our jewel. Hmm. Cum cumin. That's a fair trade. Jewel. Hmm. You can put more items on the scale pan than that. Coffee. Cotton. Cotton. Yes, the scales are balanced. Bag it, please. Jewel. Hmm. Peanut butter. I can see straight. What a good deal. Great. You keep scaling higher and higher. <laughs> Click on the ticket to help the next customer. Let's help Mira Bigira make a jewel. I can see that it's even. Let's trade. Dried peas. Beans. Hmm. Cumin. Coffee. I can see straight. What a good deal. Jewel. Hmm. Peanut butter. I can see that it's even. Let's trade. Good job. It'll be smooth scaling from here on in. Stellar job. Click exit if you need a break. The trains are crowded today. Find the animal that is the same height as the empty rail car. Look at the empty rail car. Then look at all of the animals waiting for the train. Click on the animal that is the same height as the empty rail car. Good eye. What a view. Good eye. Good eye. Good job. 
Good job. <coughs> Click on the animal. Good eye. <coughs> Good job. <coughs> Good eye. Good eye. You're the brightest. Perfect. That math souvenir may help us find the math magician. <laughs> Wait for us! <laughs> hey! There's someone out there in the water! Can that be the math magician? I don't know. He looks kind of crabby to me. You can click on me if you... Greetings. Welcome to the Irish Juice Cafe on the island. Reggie Toucan is pretty thirsty. Let's make him his favorite tropical drinks. Just make sure each drink is different. To begin, click on the lighter token and drag it to one of the slots. Drop the token in one of the slots. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Yummy! That tasted great! You made that drink already. Try mixing different juices this time. Thanks. Thank you. Yaman, just what I wanted. Super! You've earned some juicy pieces of orange. The orange pieces show how many rounds of tropical drinks you've made. Collect five piles of juicy orange pieces to earn a star. Click on your juicy orange pieces to play some more. <laughs> Did 
delightful. Yeah, mom, just what I wanted. Drop the token. Yummy! That tasted great! <laughs> Yummy! That tasted great! Delightful. Delightful. Thanks, thank you. This is a Yaman, yeah, just what I wanted. Too tasty. <laughs> Thanks, thank you. Thanks, thank you. Mmm, Yaman.
delightful. Too tasty. Thanks, thank you. Too tasty. I'm so happy for you. Hey, man. Glad you could make it. These hermit crabs, we need new homes. This crab shell home is missing a piece. Find the piece that's missing from his shell. Click on the bubble with the correct shell piece. Find the piece that's missing from his shell. <laughs> Ooh, lively, eh? <laughs> Ooh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> Ooh, lively, eh? <laughs> Ooh, lively, eh? <laughs> Delightful! <laughs> this one's perfect! <laughs> Ooh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Just right. Thanks. You 
make me smile. You got 10 correct out of 12. Terrific! That math souvenir may help us find the math magician. My home is my castle. Looks like some fertile ground for a math magician. Well, I'd say the crops are certainly multiplying. Whoa! Check out that river! Discover the riches of the Nile Riverbed Farm. Our goal is to plant crops to fill the riverbed farm. Before we can plant a crop, we have to figure out how big we want it to be by using the multiplication box. First, choose a crop from up here. Just click on the crop you want to plant and drag it over to the multiplication box. Sunflowers. To start, Drag one of the crops to the multiplication box. To make your crop grow bigger, click on one of the number buttons on top of the screen. Great! You're multiplying! When your crop... Corn. Wheat. Tomatoes. Rivers show how many riverbed farms you've planted. Plant crops in five riverbed farms to earn a star. Click on your small river to start planting in a new riverbed farm.
Discover the riches of the Nile Riverbed Farm. Great! We. Crop doesn't fit there. Place it somewhere else or click on Ramsey's to remove it. Crop doesn't fit there. Place it somewhere else or click on Ramsey's to remove it and try. Lemon.
button. To me. Crop doesn't fit there. Wonders of the Nile River. It is time to plant our crops. Great. Water. That crop doesn't fit there. Place it.
Corn. The wonders of the Nile River. It is time to plant our crops. Corn. Lemon. Tomatoes.
click on exit if you need a rest, or keep clicking on the small rivers to choose your own riverbed. the problem written on the scroll. To open a door, find the door that has the correct answer and click on it. Open all 10 doors correctly before we run out of jewels. All right! All right! Nice job! Good thinking! Nice job! Good thinking! Good thinking! Good thinking! All right! Good timesing! Stellar job! You got 10 correct out of 10 tries. Yowie! That math souvenir may help us find the math magician. Ta-da! Wow! Here we are! I made it! I'm going to meet the math magician! I've learned everything you said. I can count in fives and twos and in fractions if I choose. I can measure with an axe or shoe, whatever I want to use. I can multiply, subtract, and add all the numbers in my path. I have journeyed through ten math lands and I can do math! So where's the math magician? <laughs> right there! <laughs> right. It's me! I am the math magician! Yeah! I am the master of math mountain! I can do mathematics! I can do anything I want! And I want to chase you! <laughs> I'm gonna get you! No way! You better look out! You've completed the journey! You're the math magician! Click on any of the math lands to continue playing. Click on the mountain in the center of the map to return to Math Mountain. Do you want to stop playing? Let's keep looking for the math magician. Do you want to stop playing? I'll be tallying the hours until you come back.